everyone welcome to the another video of postman uh, update series so from the postman version 10.2.1 you can see that this is a postman 10.2.1 version so what is new in the 10.2.1 so earlier we were running our collections uh, we are going to the collections and we were, we were running the collections manually or we are running through the new man right so what they have introduced in the sense you can schedule your collection track. Okay, so now what we can do, you can go to your collection. So this is my collection. Okay. And when you run this option, so you will have that button called run collection. So that is a normal one, which we'll run it run manually. Okay. So now they have introduced one more thing, scheduled runs. Okay. So run manually, which will, you can just click on the run button, which will run our collection and run automated via CLA, which we covered in the previous video. So you can, you can use the postman CLA, which is uh, in, in the current version of one. So you can use the Postman CLI to run your collection. So additionally, they have introduced something called scheduled runs. Okay. So periodically run your collection at the specific time of the Postman cloud. So this is going to run on the Postman cloud. It is not going to run on a local machine. It is similar to monitors, right? So if you want to create monitors, what we do, we we'll go to this monitors and we will give some monitor name and you can select the collections that you want to run on the monitor. So we can select this and it will run on the the, the timer that you have scheduled to base, right? So now the same thing is available in the in the collection runner window also. Okay, so scheduled runs. So when you select this uh, scheduled run, so you have to give some scheduled name. For example, I'm giving as a test schedule. Okay, and you want to select the run frequency. So this frequency, uh, the minute timer is only in the paid version. So I'm just going for the hourly. So every one now. Okay, and the run configuration. So, for example, if you have any dependencies on the environment, so for example, Dev or QA environment I have right now. So, I'm just selecting as a Dev and the maximum iteration that you want to select. So, this is what we normally give in the manual also, right? If you want to run multiple iterations, then we can increase the iterations. Along with, if you want to send any files like a CSV or JSON file to execute to a runner, so that is also possible. Okay. So after that, if you want to get notified, any any uh, anything goes wrong, if you want to get, so these are the same options that you see in the monitor, okay? And three after consecutive failure, if you want to get, stop the email, so retry and set time out everything. So now you can schedule for the run. So how this will run? So we have defined for the hourly run. So every one hour, so now it is 12, 14 in my system. So it will run on the one o'clock, okay? So it will run for the every one hour, okay? Because we are running with the free version of Postman. So now you can see upcoming run. Okay, then it will run on the 1 p.m. today. Okay, I think you can manually also run. So just click on this button. And if you want to make the changes like edit and run, you can do that. So if you want to run manually, also possible. So you can just click on the run. So this is a scheduled run. This is a fast run. So let me run this one. I'm, I'm just running this now. Okay, so when I run, it is going for the manual option. So this will work only for the scheduled runs because already we have scheduled. Okay, so now let's go back to the collection. Let's see. Yeah, I have a scheduled runs. Okay, so that the upcoming run will happen on the 1 p.m. So you cannot run manually. So when you go for a manually, that is redirecting us to the collection video, I mean, collection runner window, which is normal one. Okay, and the past run also, you can see the history. So this many runs I have run in the previous. Okay, scheduled run that will happen on 1 p.m. today. So just click on the view again to check the schedules or, I mean, uh, planned correctly or not. Okay, so this is every owner. So view all schedules. Okay, so it is, I mean, just one time we have scheduled now. So if you want to stop them, then you can stop them. Okay, so if you if you feel like no longer, I don't want to edit, I mean, run this, you can pass and you can go for edit if you want to change the run frequency order. Okay, so you can do the, all the changes here also. Okay, so this is what the new one uh, as a part of Postman version 10.2.1, they have introduced this one. Okay, now you can go to the release notes if you want to check the things. What are the changes that they have implemented? Okay, so here you can see schedule run collection. So this is what the new one. Okay, so that's all about this video. I think the video is very useful. So please do like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys.